If you guys remember like some history between these two, I think the last time they played was at E-League in Season 3. And that's when Ibuki was even better and Rog was even worse. And Smug cooked him at E-League. That was another match where I did not understand what was going on. I've only played Fujimura once, and that was final rounds last year. And a first of five. He beat me 5-1, and I was trying to play real solid footsies and all that nonsense, which is a complete waste of time. Is what I've come to realize, and what Smug has already known, and you'll see that based on how he plays Fujimura. He's not here to whiff punish and play some solid spacing, right? That's not the name of the game plan. So the one game I won against Fujimura, I went random as hell. And I thought, oh wait, there's no there's no way I can repeat that. Let me not embarrass myself in front of my Japanese Street Fighter heroes over here. Let me not let me play solid and respectful and, and honorable. Complete waste of time. That is not how Balrog beats these top tier characters. They all have better footsies, better conversions. It's a losing match to play. And I think Smug really knows that. And that's why Smug cooks Fujimura. It's actually crazy. I can't believe how much he bodies Fujimura. Ooh, falling down cross up. This is, his G's getting cooked. Does he switch now? Alright, so he loses one match with G and then goes Balrog the whole way. Alright, let's see what happened here. Good check. Ah, Fujiwara went for V skill, V skill, but. That was a really smart walk up. But that was on a pixel's edge of whiffing. If he held the V-Skill, I'm pretty sure that Heavy Kick would have whiffed. After Jab, Jab, Mash. Interesting. Whoa. Why is Fujimura getting hit? He was doing Crouching Strong there. You can see the startup. And you see how he... That's how he got this momentum started. He did a Crouching Strong to interrupt the walk forward. What the hell? The Backdash air reset. Smug was too aware. Oh, Fujimura is just not blocking anything. Neutral jump? No? Back up? You see what he's doing here, though? Uh, Fujimura has V trigger ready. So that crouching light kick, that, that'll whiff punish um, any of those crouching medium kicks. That's the button you press when you're just trying to check the crouching medium kick to the activate. Uh oh. Jab. Another standing light kick here? No, not at all. Oh, and the standing light kick. Light kick on the way I actually don't know how much advantage she gets after that after that uh command dash from the V skill knockdown. What? I can't believe he got away with that. Smug can already tell he's scared. Ooh! Almost got the trade combo. But why did it what, what is he getting hit? What the hell is Fujimura doing? Oh, he messed up his buffer. That wasn't supposed to come out. Dash. Whoa. All right. I'd be scared, too. He immediately dashed after the negative, too. And he's just doing light kicks in Roundhouse. He's just daring you to do something. He did delay jab there. Time to guess. Wow. Really? The crush himself this time. I think choosing all the wrong buttons. Weird. He's dead. That's a weird first game. The pacing is so strange. I don't understand why he's getting crush counter non-stop. MK dash after V-Skull on Quick Rise is zero, I think. That's actually really, really good to know. Yeah, floating meatball here. See, like if you try to guess on this is this is Smug trying to guess that he was gonna press V skill or something or like a big button. Um, that's the guess, but be, because Balrog has no cross up, if they don't commit to that option, they can just walk underneath you and punish every time. Other characters they would have to respect the jump at that range. See. Yeah, I love that. This V skill. That was way too far. Ah, the V skills are working out now. String V skill, of course. Immediate meaty. What? 
you know what he was trying to do here? He was predicting a V skill because the overhead beats the V skill because it is a projectile and it happened to work out. What? What is Fujimori doing? I don't know if this counts. I don't know if this match counts, man. Why is he already shook? He's already shook. And now he's dying. Random EX slow. Delay jab, okay. Fujimori is just not blocking. He's either a delay something, he's never blocking. Not blocking, he's mashing right away. Oh my god. Why is Fujimori's defense so bad right now? I'm really confused. His defense is so bad. So, so far, the switch to Balrog, I mean, just the patient kind of... Oh my god, that was ridiculous. So, so far, the switch to Balrog, that was actually crazy. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. The, kind of the, the, the crouch... Oh, you know what he's doing that's really smart? Is he's crouching. He's crouching, not moving, but he's in the right range to just stuff that V-skill. But the crouch is what gives the psychological tell to Fujimori that it's time to do something, that, that he's backing off and respecting his turn. That's actually an incredibly smart way to mask your intention right there. Smug has a lot of little tricks and like visual cues that he throws out there. And this is the first time Smug has thrown him. Smug has not thrown him at all with Balrog. It's been delayed jab into stagger or something. First time he's thrown. What does he do? He does the dash. The dash is negative one, but uh, cannot be uh, punished. Oh my god, Fujimura is so antsy. Like, I, he probably did V-Skill again after any block string. Yeah, he did do V-Skill. Every single time. He's not, he, Fujimura does not understand the range of Rog's heavy kick. The shimmy, the shimmy worked. The season four worked. He just, um, Fujimura texts so late that he wasn't ready. That was actually really smart from Fujimori, though. Nope, just check him. Wow. Does Fujimori just drop his water bottle right here on his own stake? Like, how is, he doesn't seem composed at all in this match. That was V-Skill. Why? Because, because Ibuki's V-Skill, if you don't know, Ibuki's V-Skill is really dumb. All right? It avoids almost every block string. It, it reels her hurt box extremely far back. So if you try to overextend your block string beyond like one or two hits, you, sh she will just pull back, smack you in the face, knock you down. What Smug is doing is he's not using any extended strings with mediums. He's literally only doing lights with very low pushback and heavy kick. He's using two buttons to pressure. He's using standing light kick and heavy kick, right? So I think he's throwing off Fujimori's spacing because he's not doing any strings like jab to medium kick, jab to medium punch, those strings where you try to confirm your counter hit jab into a medium. He's not doing any of those strings at all. He's literally just doing a check and then saying, don't move. A check, don't move. I definitely don't do strings like that against Ibuki. I do like jab medium and if it doesn't work, I back up because I cannot press anything. I'm too, I'm too far pushed out. I'm too far pushed out to do the heavy kick that he's doing. But he's only doing one or two lights with very little pushback and then heavy kick. It's interesting. Like I, that, that means like when I do my strings, I'm a tiny bit further away um, from Ibuki than when Smug does those strings. And my heavy kick would just whiff. So because he's keeping it so simple, there's no pushback. And he's in range to crush every time. But Fujimori is also playing kind of bad. I'm going to be honest. It looks really, really shaky. Still doing it again. Oh, God. That wasn't even a punish. But this is the idea I told you before. You can use heavy. You have to use overhead on the V-Skill because it has more fireball invincibility than than, um, than the V-Skill P. But because the overhead is so slow, it's like really tight timing to punish with the overhead. But if you do V-Skill P, what happens is sometimes you get interrupted before the punch connects with her because it runs out of fireball invincibility. So he, this is like kind of a gamble to get the full punish with V-Skill overhead. But he, this is not even a punish. That is not a punish. 
Why? Okay, basic combo. How many hits was that? That's, that's, first of all, it's a fake low. So, Fujimore actually could have been mashing here. He did one extra V skill. That, that empty low was hell interruptible. He would beat the high also. So, there's no reason for him to get hit there. And then, this is the first time Smog has done the longer airtight strings, right? Short, jab, medium punch. I bet you, on short, jab, medium punch, Ibuki's V skill would have made that string whiff. But I think he's conditioned him so much that he tried to challenge with the jab. He's also done a lot of jab dashes too. So he finally doesn't do V-Skill. V-Skill would have worked there. And you see what he does here? Because there's so much scaling, he doesn't go into the upper. He goes into the heavy punch dash straight because it's an immediate guess. Oh my god, Smug, you're feeling yourself too much. That's crazy. That's crazy. You, this is what happens when you play Shine every day. I, I default to block high on this now. Because Shine does it 90% of the time. No anti-air. I think he's respecting the kunai option. It's scary. Like, oh, but, but that's the other option. See, see, I think Fujimura saw that he respected the jump. Or did he miss kunai? Why did Fujimori do jump jab? That's really weird. Oh, antsy. Antsy, but Fujimori cannot feel good about that. This is a 50-50, right? If Smug didn't immediately do that, he could have easily had medium kick up, medium kick upper right there. That is the perfect range for medium kick upper. You can't feel good about that as Fujimori. That, like, the, like, you probably should have died. Miss Kunai, that's what I think, too. What's up, Knowledge? Look at the dashes. He mixes, he mixes in way more dashes than I do. He, he guesses when you're going to respect that your turn is over when you're negative. So every once in a while, when he knows that your turn is over, he's just going to dash up. And then other times, he'll do the safe button. Oh, he almost got the punish there. That would have been nice. Good confirm. Look, just not doing anything. Just jab. Just, that's the only buttons he's using. Respecting the jump kunai. Check. What is he checking? Medium punch? He pressed... Isn't that button like plus three? Isn't that button plus three? Yeah, he's... Give me a second here in chat room. Let's pull up some frame data. He did, he did medium punch to standing medium kick. And he pressed a three frame light kick. That one's plus two. Okay, the medium kick is plus three. She has a plus three medium. Ibuki. All right, standing medium punch is uh, plus two. Wait. She doesn't have a plus three normal? Or is that season two? Uh, I think they nerfed that. She definitely had a plus three at one point. I think they nerfed that. So this is my old man memory kicking in. Okay, okay. So standing medium punch is five frames. Standing medium kick is six frames. Ah... So what is the advantage? So that's kind of interesting to know. I think if you do standing medium punch, medium punch, your turn is kind of over. Even if the counter hit connects, you don't get much from it. But I think standing medium punch, standing medium kick counter hit, you might be able to convert off of. So that's good to know. Interesting. That's a good risk from Smug. Look at that! What?! Backdash, upper. That is so smart. Uh, 
Are you guys watching this? And you notice he backdashed there as well. Look. Space out crashing meaty punch. Just back up. I love those spacing. Getting crossed all day. Back up, right? And then when she's at that range, all she can do is jump kunai. Regular jump is just gonna whiff in front of him. And then this time he does the same thing. And, and, look, look, he's giving you clues right here. Backdash. 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 He's plus three, but look at the range he's at. Okay, plus three, but what can Rog do right here? At this range, the best thing that you could do is if Ibuki is generous and stands perfectly still, you can do your crouching medium punch or maybe your crouching medium kick. And even then, the crouching medium kick will get beat by a three frame. There's nothing you can do here that's really threatening to Ibuki. But what can Ibuki do to you? She can press her extremely stupid V skill and beat any of your buttons that reach in time. For you to beat her V skill at this range, you would have to like walk up, delay heavy kick, or standing fierce punch, which would lose to any buttons. So it's a risk. You have to do something chunky to beat her V skill. And even then, at this range, I think heavy kick would lose to the V skill with the real back. She could also do her stupid heavy kick. I hate that move. It also has some funky hurtbox interactions. And that would for sure beat your medium buttons, right? So there's really nothing that you can do that's going to cover more options than she has for a good enough reward. Back up. And then the upper. I didn't even know I didn't even know you could punish that with upper. I love those spacing. But he still got Where was I? So many of those V skills backs himself up. V skills, those are being getting crushed all day. Where was I? Alright. Backdash. The scene that we watched 30 times. Backdash. Baited. That blew my mind. Alright. So at this range, you can see here, he does this V skill. She dashes right here is perfect V skill P spacing where the tip will connect and he can't be punished. But, she, but he happened to jump forward at the exact same time. And you see, this is weird. See, this is a smug thing. Look at this. Okay. He, he walks up. She just whiffed, and then he just sits there, down back. Ibuki could definitely just tap v skill here as the panic button. She just whiffed. He's walking up. He might try to whiff punish her, and he just he does down back first. He does these visual cues to make you think that he's in a passive position. He does this passive position, and then rah, just just smacks him. So that's what he went for here. Immediate heavy kick, but then. This just got kind of random because she happened to immediate jump kunai, and he got really lucky because the spacing, it doesn't connect fully. He could have challenged after this hit on the kunai, if he had recognized it, which he did a little bit too late. I'm pretty sure if he did like a three frame here, he would have beat um, Ibuki's button. She's negative on that. At least on block she is. I don't know about on hit. Usually she is. Scramble situation either way. How did he block this? I, I, I want to recreate this in the training training mode. I think if it's command dash in the air, I think it's a fake cross up. That's what I think it is. But I, I want to double check that. Back dash out of the throw. Good view reversal. Just keep the corner. One of the only times he does a true all the way follow through block string. Whoa, that's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. I don't know what the overhead there was for. Like that might have beat spaced out V skill at that range, but even then, that's just a pure guess. Yep, okay, just wanted to activate. Dash. Oh my god, he is disrespecting Fujimura. And I I think it's a good idea because Fujimura showed earlier in the set that he was not pressing jab on fake Rekka stuff. And Fujimura is just not reacting to things. He has such good reads on this guy. There's a reason he calls him Fujimura. He knows how it works. I don't know if he can read his name. I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. 
Hmm. You see how he got he got hit here, but it wasn't counter hit. I think he was holding up back to try to jump away from a throw overhead mix up, which would have been pretty good if he got away. <sighs> Walk up block. Oh what? Has she been? Has he been back rolling the majority of the time? Oh my god! Look how fast he's moving. He's just smelling blood. Back dash. This this is the point the point in the set where I turned around and watched. He did heavy kick, jump heavy kick. This is the first jump of the set. Or actually, he jumped earlier, but she walked under. But there's no way you can walk under that one. But no anti air. That's actually so crazy. Oh my god, the delay, the crashing fierce. Like, another challenge after standing medium punch. She's kind of spaced out, so... I don't know, it's like, he can tell that Fujimura's being greedy with the block strings. I, I, I'm not even sure if that's a reaction or not. That's crazy, though. And then she, he, this is just guess for game. Guess for game. Throw. Look at those dweebs in the back. What are they, what are they doing? It's a 3 0 with Rog. He beat Fujimura. Three games straight with Balrog. That's incredible. Yukodon would have anti aired that. <laughs> You're telling me that this obvious jump in, this basic ass Balrog jump in, Lord Yukodon would have had that free. Fujimura just doesn't have that touch. What's going on, Marcus? Yeah, I, I don't know how reliable this is at this angle. I feel like if Fujimura chose a different jump button, he, he did like early jump heavy kick. It's kind of weird. If he did something with a lower hitbox, this is not really a thing. But that was a great conversion. That's crazy. That's crazy. I want to see something. All right, let's see. All right. Oh, if it's undergoing maintenance, you just can't play. You have to wait. It's an online game, so it's just down right now. Tetris is down, everybody. Does anyone know when Tetris servers are going back up? It's very important. This ain't Tekken. What? See? Hmm. Blown up. At least it's not punishing. Uh, right, let's see. What about... uh? That's going to get punished for sure. Punish. Every time. Yep. Um, let's see. What else do rock players do? Actually, let's see how this works. That whiffs. Interesting. So if I'm blocking... Okay, blocking, it doesn't whiff. Ah, you thought your turn was over? Huh. Okay, but you see this? Oh, 
Look at this. It doesn't connect. That's actually really, really important. Because if she... So there's, there's a big gap here, right? That standing like he's going plus one. So, um, you know, if she challenges with with a button, there's there's gonna be there's gonna be a big gap, and that means she can do something like that. I don't know why she would do this, but she could, right? But that's what they're probably gonna go for. Say, get off me! It's gonna be that. It's gonna be what, what's what's the move? Is it forward heavy kick? be one of those it's gonna be one of these or it's gonna be one of these that's actually nuts I've never thought of it this way I thought smug was just being a scrub it, not even the like it connects that's crazy. That okay, interesting. Okay, if I'm mashing crashing like it, I'll get through. But that's such a risk. And then what does she get if she doesn't have V trigger? Plus five. So she gets she gets her her shit going. There's a science behind pressing light kick twice and then heavy kick. There's a science to this? What? Let me never disrespect Lord Smuggles ever again. So that means if I get interrupted, you can OS this shit. Hold on, let me let me let me try to get a recording of this. This might be kind of weird. Oh, sweep's definitely punishing. Okay, so that means um crouching strong. Free. Free. But that that will work, frame data wise. Wow, I can't believe light kick, light kick, heavy kick is that godlike. I think that's why this Smuggles guy has a PhD. May not be an accredited university, but I think there's a diploma on his wall somewhere. Bitch, I live in a fucking trash What's up, Daniel? Appreciate the 16 months, man. What's good, dog? Just reviewing some NCR matches, trying to see what Smug got cooking in the lab. Steal some of the tech. That's crazy. It's that good. Okay. So, let's see here. A string that I really like to do is this. Right? You get the, If it counter hits, you get a confirm. Um, it, you know, or you can do j jab and a throw. You feel me? It's just Barg's basic shit. So, let's see what's going on here. Alright. How could... What goes... What happens here? That looks dangerous. That looks dangerous. All right. No? No? Are you guys seeing this? Well, okay, there's supposed to be an upper there. You're not quite following, to be honest? All right. All right, so maybe, I don't know if you saw what's going on earlier, Hindu. Let me let me set this, let me set the stage here. You're a Balrog player, and you're trying to beat up this evil little ninja girl. And don't get it wrong, She's definitely evil. All right, don't be mistaken. <laughs> oh, 
OMG be Hindu. <laughs> Listen, listen, you don't think I did that on purpose to be funny? You guys don't understand how deep, how much of a professional I am at the streaming shit. Okay, anyways, uh, <laughs> moving on, okay? Uh, what you do here against like 99% of the characters is you do streams like this. Say they block the jab to medium kick. Because jab to medium kick, well, if they mash buns after the jab, you're gonna frame trap them, and then you, this will counter hit. And then if this move counter hits, I can do something like that, get a full combo, right? And also after jab, if they block or press a button, I can throw. So it's a mix up. They might tack and I'll frame trap them. You feel me? So after that jab, I usually do medium kick. It's either jab throw or jab medium kick. If I counter hit them with a the medium kick, I get a combo. Now say they don't do any of that and they just block what am i gonna what am, what am i gonna do here if this blocks i'm plus two so i can do maybe a jab that'll beat any buttons they do because it's fast enough at this range i might even do a crouching strong it's not going to beat three frame if they were close but at this distance their jab might whiff right and then maybe i can keep the block string pressure going with that or you know just check them just make sure they don't just mash or i can do one of these Crouching medium kick, say they're walking back, trying to walk away from my pressure. I can do a crouching medium kick here. All right, now none of this applies to Ibuki at all. Say I'm a little bit spaced out. A little bit off the spacing, right? But I'm not point blank. And you know what this leads into? Right? Okay. Once again, if you're a little bit off, if you're a little bit off your pressure, you get destroyed. Basically, if you're doing these stuff, these pressure strings in neutral, there's a huge chance that you're not point blank. Now, say I do back dash. The only thing Ibuki can do, oh, snap. What is Ibuki going to do to stop that, right? If I back dash, I'm not in a bad spacing position. Right? If Ibuki does V skill, I can now whiff punish that with potentially damaging consequences. Another thing that she does after like spaced out strings is this thing. I can now whiff punish that with, with upper. Um, the only thing she can do to stop that is like reversal EX Kunai or mash V trigger. DP. I guess EX will catch it. What if it's a little spaced out? If I'm not point blank, out of there. So the idea here is that she has to do something crazy or risky to stop me from doing that. If I eat an EX DP, you know, whatever. I could have blocked it. But if I'm there blocking, that means um, the kunai wouldn't wouldn't hit me either. So it just gives a really strong option to now body one of the scrubbiest things that she has. So I hate this V skill. And that spacing is not a bad dash punch spacing. Look at that. Light kick, light kick, heavy kick is godlike. I had no idea. And back dash is amazing. And smug is a genius. I I'm actually mind blown that the simplest shit was actually this good the whole time. I've eliminated like like a heavy kick from like my entire Balrog vocabulary. I feel like I've been missing out on something amazing this entire time. There's gonna be probably gonna be so many matchups where this is so effective, and I had no idea. And you know what he's gonna do? You know what you're gonna do? What the next time you do like kick like kick, you're gonna dash up and throw him. <laughs> 